You have a brand new Lenovo Smart Clock at home? Well, let's get it set up for you today. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and we're going to take the frustration out of automation today by showing you how to fully set up your Lenovo Smart Clock. Now you can see mine powering up, but I wanna pause here for a second and just show you a couple things on the back. Here's the mute microphone slider switch and then you'll also see a USB charging port that you can plug a smartphone or device into. Now, you will need the Google Home application and then you will find your Lenovo Smart Clock sits on this screen. Inside the Google Home application, you can see the word set up one device at the top, but if you don't have that, you can simply hit the add button down below it on the main home screen here. Now, once you've hit that, you hit set up device, set up new devices, and you're going to choose your home. Now, likely you only have one sitting on that screen, and then it will look for devices. Once it's found the Lenovo Smart Clock, you hit that and the next button and then it will make a connection to that from there you're going to get this code on screen and you will also see it physically on the device itself here once you've confirmed that those are the same you just hit next and you need to choose the room that this is in now this actually does matter for you because it sets what you will be able to turn on and off from a light standpoint on the device really quickly and easily now the next thing you're going to do is choose your Wi-Fi network in your home you can choose a 2.4 or a 5 gigahertz and it will connect now if it struggles there and mine did you may want to just run through that setup process a few times move your device a little closer to your router or wireless access point those are kind of what I can give you for troubleshooting steps otherwise leave comments below now your device will actually go through a full update but while it's going through that update you can still run through the setup process in the Google Home application now you're simply choosing to accept some terms and conditions and then you'll want to set up voice match now I already have mine set up but it will ask you to basically speak into your phone a few phrases now both voice match and personal results help you to get better results once you've agreed to that you put in your address in order to get things like local weather and traffic and then you're going to add some media services now you'll notice I have a plus symbol next to the Deezer service. That means I haven't added that. You may have multiple here and you're going to want to hit the plus on any of those. And then you hit link account and you type in credentials to that. You can also choose your default music service on the next screen and then you're basically done with the simple setup or the basic setup of your Lenovo Smart Clock. Once you have all of that completed, you are done and the device will finalize with one last reboot here and then you're given your clock face. Now, there is a lot more to talk about actually in terms of device settings. So we're going to go into my bedroom Smart Clock, that's what I named it. And you can see that I can adjust the volume there. But when I hit the gear icon and go into device settings, now I get a ton more. So I could change the home, I could change the room. I can also add it to multi-room audio groups if I'd like. This isn't a device really made for music though. I could forget the Wi-Fi network and do a setup on a new Wi-Fi network. And then we have digital well-being, which is filters and downtime. So you may wanna set those up I'm not going to run through that fully here the default speaker is probably something you want to set as a different speaker for when you ask for music on the device you're probably going to want to choose something a little more powerful for just standard music and same with the default TV because if you ask for videos to be played it will default on its own to a different device or tell you it can't play videos because it does not now you can also set an alarm and a timer volume but you can do that on device and I'll show you that later there's a night mode which is nice to set with an alarm clock like this you can go ahead and set that and it will block all the sounds from reminders broadcasts and other notifications you also have the ability to tur turn on the do not disturb mode which you can do again on device and I'll show you that in a minute you have some accessibility sounds where you can play a start sound and an end sound when you use the wake word and then pairing Bluetooth devices which allows you to play to a different speaker or you can play 
life from your smartphone. Now you can either ask the device to enable pairing modes or you saw I hit the enable pairing mode, gone into my phone's Bluetooth settings here and simply select the smart clock there that will pair the two devices and you'll be able to then from then on just say enable and disable Bluetooth. Now the settings for your overall Google Home application, you can go into Assistant and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will find your smart clock there again. So this is a whole nother uh, settings page that is disappearing over time. But one thing in here right now is Duo Calling. And if I hit that little link and I've already set up Duo, then I can make audio Duo calls if I go ahead and walk through that process. That's a pretty good run through of the basic settings for your Lenovo smart clock but now let's work with the device physically itself you can see that we can press and hold to customize the clock face so you have a number of choices here that you can run through and really there's a lot of different ones but ultimately the one I chose was the weather one because it gives you the little weather icon at the top with the temperature now you can also edit a little bit more into that so do you want your reminders alarm suggestions and more from your assistant you can turn off or on that and hit set. You can also go into the settings on this screen for alarms. Now you can adjust the alarm and timer volume and that is distinct and separate from the overall device volume that you can adjust with the plus and minus buttons or just simply asking your Google Assistant to change the volume. You can change this snooze timer as well so that's a nice little feature. You can adjust the length there. Now there's a hard tap where you can tap the top of the device when the alarm is going and you can adjust whether or not this snoozes or stops the device from alarming. There's also a number of different alarm tones, so I'll let you hear a few of those. Once you've chosen an alarm tone, you can go ahead and swipe up from the bottom and you get some system settings. So these are additional display settings. During low light, what would you like to see? Do you want to see a mono clock face or the current one? You can also set the minimum brightness to really dark if you'd like and I have done that as well. Additionally, inside of that menu, when you swipe up from the bottom, you have a do not disturb mode that you can turn on and off. Here's the overall volume on the device. And finally, you can adjust the automatic brightness or the brightness on the device itself. So if you turn off automatic brightness, you now have the ability to make it really dark or really light. Finally, there's a menu you can swipe down from the top and here's where when you chose that bedroom room, you chose to be able to turn on and off the bedroom lights with that interface right there. You also have the ability of setting a uh, alarm and a nap timer. Now that nap timer defaults to 20 minutes. I don't know why we've chosen 20 okay, minutes, but 20 that's minutes. what it is. You could also now. just ask for a timer with the device in general. You can also use those connected services to play music instantly, and it Thanks will choose something from the music. library or the service that you use based on what you like. Now once music is playing, you have this little ability to swipe between these different screens from the right to the left and you can see my calendar. Now of course you can interface with the device from a voice perspective, so let me show you a few of those capabilities. Set a reminder for 3.30 today to pick up the kid. Add an event to pick up the kid at 3.30 today. Sure, pick up the kids today at 3.30 p.m. Do you want to save that? Yes. All right, I saved your event. What's on my calendar for today? There's one entry for today. At 3.30 p.m., you have pick up the kids. What reminders do I have today? You have one reminder. Today at 3.30 p.m., pick up the kid. Turn off everything in the studio. You got it. Turning four things off. Play the latest video from Automate Your Life on YouTube. All right, playing the latest video from Automate Your Life from YouTube on Bedroom Display. Who is Scarlett Johansson? According to Wikipedia, Scarlett Ingrid Johansson is an American actress and singer. Show me my active alarms. You have set an alarm for 2.34pm. 
This should have you fully set up with your Lenovo Smart Clock. If you wanted to see a review, if you're still making that purchasing decision, go ahead, click on the link on screen. It will take you to the Lenovo Smart Clock review that I did for Automate Your Life. Otherwise, guys, don't hate, automate.